Today we will look at the stocks which make big moves to the downside. So if you are looking for how to find stocks that make big moves to the downside for shorting, this will give you a lot of ideas as to how to scan for and what to look for in them. So stay tuned. So again, in order to look at the stocks which make the big moves to the downside or big moves, what I'm going to look at is stocks which went down the most YTD, which is basically stocks which from the 3rd of January to as of today, which is around 16th of May, have gone down the most. And in order to find those stocks using telechart, what I'm going to look at is universe. Universe is a list of stocks, which are basically uh, all the US common stocks, the ETFs and the foreign ADRs or the Chinese ADRs and the Brazilian and other ADRs which trade in the US market. And they should have a liquidity because you're looking for something which is not illiquid. So I'm looking for stock which have traded at least 100,000 shares for last three days and stock which is priced at one basically, at least minimum price of one. And then I'm going to sort it by YTD and if you want to know what is YTD, YTD is basically a, a sorting criteria which looks at basically uh, what is the price percent change from the first trading day of the year. So if you sort it by this and again what we'll do is we'll look at the top 100 stocks or the biggest movers on the downside, the top 100. And so this is sorted and obviously dry ship is the number one. And we'll keep looking till around say uh, we find the 100 number stock. So this is a stock which is 100 number and I'm going to flag all symbols above this and copy these flag symbols to a list which is YTD 100. Okay. Now let's go to the YTD 100 list and look at these stocks and see what is the common characteristics of these stocks or how you can find. You're basically interested as a trader and especially this video is more for active traders than for investors because active traders you're looking for making money whether the stock market is going up or going down or whether stock is going up or going down. So you're really not like an investor who is basically going long only. So if you're looking for stocks which go down and also when you're looking at shorting a stock, uh, you want to find a stock which has the potential to go down a lot and you want to find them on a daily basis and scan for them, then we need to understand what is it the characteristics or what is it that we should be looking at. So uh, let's start by looking at this basically and let's go through a couple of stocks and see now dry sheep is the one which has gone down the most again uh, in order to some of you if you don't know what this is basically when this is red then the trend intensity is negative or like basically the stock is trading 5% below its uh, the its 7 day moving average is 5% below its 65 day moving average. So th this is where uh, this trend intensity is useful because it tells you the start of a trend. Basically it tells you when a trend has achieved a certain speed and for how long that stock was in that trending period. So you'll see that the stock has been in downtrend in spite of here making a big move uh, which is just a few days of move where it almost like and you know, went up uh, God knows how many percent like probably uh, almost 1000 percent and then since then it's been cut down into like basically if you see from that day onward it's been cut down into 99 percent it's down. So if you look at this what you will see is the important thing which is like basically stock which is already down all of these stocks they were down like and if you see this particular stock it was already down by the time the strain accelerated and it went down so if you see this real good solar again stock had a brief rally here but like stock is in a downtrend for multiple months or probably multiple years and then it went down here stock went down uh, so a lot of these stocks which you will see are the stocks which are already weak and the weak becomes weaker basically or like if you see UVXY which is a ETF basically but it's been weak for a long period of time and then it became weaker. So similarly you'll see 
which contrary to what people tell you or contrary to what is the most common this thing people want to fade strong moves they want to like in a short something which is going up like everybody wants to be looking at stocks which are like up a lot and then want to short while the easier trade might be in stocks which are already down trending because that is where the big moves are happening or if you see this 100 stocks and study this 100 stocks you will find that these are stocks which are already in a downtrend of almost like most of these stocks you will see are in a downtrend of two years or more. Sometimes if you look at it this on a weekly chart this stock is downtrend for two years. It had a brief rally but that rally was like just a uh, aberration and then the stock went down. So if you look at Hornback Offshore it is again the same thing stock has been in downtrend for some time. So this is one of the things which you can look at if you want to find stocks which are weak. Basically the stocks which have which go down the most are not necessarily the stocks which have gone up the most. Uh, basically that's like you know, one of the things which people tell you to short like and you know, look for the strongest stocks and short stocks which are strongest when they start breaking down. But uh, even if you miss that or if you that is not what really works in the market because you will see that the stock has already like gone down and then the move accelerates down. Uh, so these are some of the things which you can look at in terms of like what to look for in a short and the easiest way to do this if you're looking for shorts is to like basically focus on stocks which have a trend intensity below 100 and below 0.95 or 9 uh, uh, those are the stocks which make the biggest move down which if you see here uh, stocks which are like and uh, each one of these is already a weak stock most of the time it might have a small counter trend rally but like that rally after that it uh, goes down. So majority of the stocks here if you look at it you will find a common characteristic which is like the stock is already weak and then the selling accelerates. Uh, at least for the majority of the stock you will find there will be stocks which were going up and then they broke down. But most of the stocks are in deep trouble like if you look at Hertz okay it's been going down for how long? Okay, And then there are always like you know, buyers uh, at each stage who believe that this stock is going to bounce back ultimately it might at some stage but like uh, serially it has been going down basically uh, and just because Carl I can buy it doesn't mean that the stock is going to rally it kept on going down uh, I think the news came in Carl I can so there was a small rally here and after that the stock has been cut down into like almost 70-80 percent from that particular level so look at it from a $50 stock it has been cut down to around $10 uh, so you don't have to basically know the things which like be, uh, other people are doing in order to find these kind of stocks because as a trader you are basically looking at uh, finding stocks on a daily basis and the easier trade is what you are looking for you are not looking to be a martyr and try and short something which is up a lot. Uh, because that's not what is working in the market or that's not what if you're looking for really stocks which are going down the easiest thing which you can do is just basically focus on stocks which are already down. Jesse Penny has been down like and it's, be, it's uh, just kept on going down here it is like in a down for a six seven months and then the selling accelerates and in re recent days it accelerated more and it is down 21 percent. So if you look at these stocks and study this you will find the same pattern which is like basically most of these stocks will be weak stocks and they keep becoming weaker. Some of them will have a counter trend rally or sometimes uh, they might have a big counter trend rally lasting couple of months which gives people the belief that this stock is now going back to its original high like look at how many stocks in the oil and gas sector people were saying just at the beginning of the year that this stock is going to go back to its original high of like um, say something like this. People were saying that it is going to go back to its original high. The stock broke down from that particular level. So but it is not in the biggest loser stock. So if you look at the biggest loser the common characteristic you will find is that most of them are already weak stock. So the weak become weaker and which is in line with the lot of studies which have been done in the market and which you can do for yourself which is basically stocks with a negative momentum continues to move in the direction of the momentum at least for the next one year. Uh, ultimately momentum reverses but that happens over a longer period of three years but on a shorter period what you are looking for you will find that weak stock become weaker. So even if I forget uh, about shorting a stock at uh, its high or near high if 
I just focus on stocks or if I'm looking for a short and if I just scan for stocks which have trend intensity below 105, there is a high good probability that I'll find the stocks which make the biggest move down. I may not catch them at the right start of their big move down, but that's not really what you think or look at as a trader. Now again, let's look at the same criteria which we looked at for last time, like and you know, it does float matter when you're looking at shorting. Uh, again, you'll see that more or less, uh, if you say, take 25 million as a cutoff here, you'll see that 50% of the stock will have a float below 25 million. But again, if I focus on only stocks with float below 25 million, I'll miss out on 46% or 49% of the stocks. So which as a criteria should not be a criteria which you can use. The other way to look at it is what is the price of the stock when it started going down, uh, which will require you to know what is the price on the uh, 3rd of January, which you can write a scan for IntelliChart. It's slightly, uh, uh, the easy way to write a scan like that or add a column like that in telechart will be by basically um, I'm just trying it out uh, the date scan in telechart works by Let's see if it works. Uh, so that's third and we're looking for a value there. So this was the price of this stock on 3rd of January basically is what this is telling you. So if you look at these stocks and look at what their price was on 3rd of January, you will find that and you sort it by that price, what you will find is that most of these stocks were priced below 15. So 66% of the stocks were priced below 15 at the start of their move. So again, like if you're looking for a short, you're better off looking at a stock which is priced at around 15 and a lot of these stocks were actually priced below 10. If you look at like almost like more than 50, uh, I think that's 58% of the stocks were priced below 10 when they started going down. So that's a useful information if you're looking for something to short. Uh, contrary to what like other people believe that you should be focusing on strongest stocks to short, it's not the strongest starts stock which you need to focus on. You can focus on a stock which is weak. And once it establishes, then look for a shorting points along the way. So that's another criteria which you can look at it. Uh, then again, like basically, if you're looking for shorting, uh, what is the thing which you can see at the beginning of a short swing? If you're even if you're looking for say, a short swing, what you will find is again, short swings will start with or a breakdowns so will start with a 4% plus move here like and this is a stock which is basically has a multiple down moves but when did this move start the move started with a serious uh, down move started with a 4% breakout to the downside and you can look at each of these and you will find more or less the similar kind of a pattern which is basically stocks will start their down move with a range expansion or a big down day of 4% plus. So if you're looking at swings also, what should I be doing on a daily basis to look at it is to look at 4% breakdown. In order to find 4% breakdown, what you can do is you can look at scan which looks for a stock which is down 4%, volume is greater than V1 and volume is greater than 100,000. So from a practical point of view, if you're looking at and you can go through all these 100 stocks and you'll see the same thing, which is basically they, uh, at the beginning of the downswing, you had a 4% breakdown. Uh, basically, uh, every year I'm asked, you look and I, uh, why do you continue to use 4% breakout? The market has changed, this has happened, that has happened. Cumulatively, uh, in last 10 years, I made more than 5 million across accounts using just one simple scan which is a 4% breakout and 4% breakdown. So obviously the thing works. So why change something which works? You'll see that again like this 4% breakout breakdown is what triggered this move. Even before that this 4% breakdown is what triggered this move. This 4% breakdown here triggered this down move. So in order to find stocks like that, 
stock which are likely to go down what you can do is you can create a scan which is a very simple scan which looks for stock which have a established downtrend so if you can like say if in telechart like I'm, what i'm going to do is this is my universe watch list i'm going to add a condition which is basically uh, ti65 and ti65 basically less than 0.95 which will give me a downtrend in stocks add a condition which is basically four uh, percent breakdown and that is basically uh, so stock is down four percent v is greater than v1 that's the condition and uh, i get stocks today which are basically meeting that condition and that's the can you run daily and look for a setup to find stocks which are likely to make a big down move so that's one way of finding stocks which are going to be making a down move uh, by just running a four percent scan on stocks with an established uh, this thing and you can save this scan whichever way you want you can say like look at it this is stock b trend intensity stib uh, bearish 4% okay and you will find candidates and from that candidate you can decide which stocks uh, as of today looks good and if you go through this particular thing today and look at like say uh, there is a candidate which might be one uh, one of the candidate which you can look at as a possible shorting candidate and obviously I don't look at stocks which are very low price so I would add a filter here saying that you look at a price is about there is no harm in uh, shorting something which is low priced if you have a smaller account i have fortunately a uh, very large account to work with so i basically look at things which are like priced above five so you get only like 16 17 ideas to look at these are these are not like and just because it meets the scan criteria it's not a short you look at basically something which is uh, has a good setup also and you will find that this particular thing is a continuation setup it did had a breakdown here and this is a breakdown of that particular the small counter trend move is breaking down so this is a possible candidate for shorting and uh, you can find candidates like that daily there is another way you can find candidates like this which is by uh, because not all the downtrends is going to happen by uh, just a 4% breakdown. So what you can do is you can do a low threshold breakout kind of a scan, uh, which I already I think have here, uh, which is basically, I don't want to save that scan. So let's look at like say I have a, a scan, which will find that kind of a thing, which is basically you're looking for stock, which was up or like and it was down less than two percent and uh, today is down and it is down from the opening bell also volume is about hundred thousand and price is about three and its trend intensity is below 0 0.95 and today's move is larger than yesterday's move and if you run that scan you'll find that you have 77 candidates which will allow you to find uh, candidates which are basically even more candidates than the four percent breakdown because sometimes especially on the downside you'll find that uh, stocks can break down or like continuation move can happen without a four percent breakdown so this can be another way to find stocks which are going down so there are two ways in which you can basically look for uh, stocks on a daily basis to find for shorting one is the, by using the first scan which i showed you which is a four percent down and this is the second scan which you can do to find that and obviously there is a third way which is basically what you can do is you can create an anticipation scan to look at stocks which are likely to break out or which are having a very narrow range day and for that again we go to universe and we add condition which is basically liquidity condition because we want liquid stocks so we add a liquidity condition we add a condition which is basically price because i don't want to look at too low priced stocks so i'm going to make it above five uh, again this five is not necessary you can always short a stock which is trading at three it's just that if you have a larger account then uh, you will have to put in lot many you'll have to sell lot many shares for it to make a difference to your account and which becomes a issue in terms of the stock needs to have a liquidity so we put in uh, ti65 and ti65 less than 
0.95. So you have these criteria and then you add to that condition because we are looking at an anticipation kind of a thing which is uh, so you look for for ice percent change today and it is between minus 1 and 1%. 1 so if you run a scan like this what you will get is stocks which are having a narrow range day they are in a downtrend but with the, which are just so something like this is a good candidate to watch if it breaks down from here it's a short candidate so you can like it it involves a little bit of work but this is something which you have to do after the close see here again the stock has established a downtrend and then having a, a small bearish flag again here same thing which you have so you have these setups which you can like then becomes your anticipation setup even this one it's a utility and you can keep going like this and look for a setup which is basically a continuation setup which is setting up for a possible shorting and then put them in a watch list and during the day when they start breaking down you can short them that is one way or you can create orders uh, at a point which is below the price like say basically like here if I want to short this and I can create a limit order that will trigger at say price of like say 575 so the moment it goes down to 575 it will short that particular stock so that's another way to do it so overall in order to summarize this thing basically if you study the stocks uh, which are uh, down a lot you will find that they are basically stocks which have established trend intensity be below 100 uh, below 0.95 so that is what this is what it shows if you want to set it up in chart and then those are the stocks you want to look at for shorting and in order to find the day on which to short or a short trigger one way to do it is by using 4% breakdown signal which is what this will tell you whenever there is a 4% breakdown and as you can see this particular signal produced 40% uh, down move so that's one way of doing it the second way of doing it is by using the low threshold uh, kind of a thing where again you're taking stocks with trend tendency below 0.95 and then looking for a low th uh, threshold kind of a breakdown like this kind of a breakdown is not 4% down move but it was like an, a breakdown from this particular continuation bearish flag so that you will find by using the low threshold breakout and the third way to do it is by running the anticipation scan and then finding candidate to short and then watching them intraday or putting alerts on them or putting orders on them so this is what will tell you both videos if you put together is that if you are a trader and looking for making money and serious money then you are better off focusing on stocks with established momentum on 65 days because that will give you get you into bulk of the moves uh, after i made that first video uh, there's a comment which somebody left looking at look if you just run anticipation scan and i went back and looked at it if you just ran anticipation scan you would 76 uh, percent of those candidates will show up in those scans so that's a very good information to know so by focusing on stocks with trend intensity below 65 or above 65 uh, above 1.05 or below 0.95 you can get into bulk of the big moves which are happening in the market so if you want to find a stock which is likely to make a big move to the upside focus on stocks with the trend intensity above 1.05 if you want to find stocks which make big moves to the downside focus on stocks which have trend intensity below 0.95 if you want to get into a stocks which is likely to make a big move and which has a trend intensity about 105 and if you are looking for a signal to buy then 4% breakout is likely to get into get you into that particular stock if you are looking for a stock which is likely to make a big move to the downside and you are looking for a signal to get into it 4% breakdown is a way to get into it if 4% breakout and breakdown is one way of getting it there are several other ways of getting into it the second way is by looking at a low threshold breakout where the breakout or a breakdown where the stock doesn't go up more than four percent or go down four percent but still it is a continuation down move in that case you run a scan which looks for a lower threshold breakdown so that is another uh, thing which will give you candidate the third thing is basically to run anticipation uh, scan on stocks with trend intensity above 105 for a bullish side and trend intensity below 0.95 for 
uh, berry side and if you can just do that and focus on that what it will allow you to do is eliminate rest of the stocks in the market and you're working with a set of stocks or set of vehicles which have the probability of going up a lot or going down a lot so that is the key to finding stocks which make big moves in order to find stocks which make big moves first you need to filter the entire universe of stocks which are tradable by some sort of a filter and that filter is basically a momentum filter and in this particular case we are looking at a momentum filter of 65 days and that's basically a qualifying criteria which one needs to look for in a stock whether you're looking for a long candidate or whether you're looking for a short candidate and again once you do that it's not like just because it has a trend intensity of 105 uh, that makes it a good candidate to short from a tra trading point of view from a risk management point of view what you want to find when you're shorting is a candidate which starts which has a trend intensity below 0.95 but it is a young trend intensity to the downside that means something which has just started going down and then you want to short the first or second breakdown similarly if you're looking for something to go long then you want to look at stocks which have just entered a trend intensity about 105 and then you want to look at see this is a young trend right obviously this is a stock which we had a position in and uh, because it had such a big uh, jump in the aftermarket I did sell that position for a lot of profit but like basically this was a young trend so if you're looking for trend intensity don't just look at trend intensity by itself in fact and look for a trend intensity where the trend is young and in order to find that there are easy ways to find that in telechart nowadays with the new uh, functions they are added which is basically this allows you this particular column gives you the youngness of a trend basically so if you run a scan on ti 65 bullish and you want to know which are the stocks which are young trend and obviously somebody will ask what is this this basically is a new function which telechart has added which allows you to find uh, how many days in a row a stock was about was meeting your uh, trend intensity condition so for this particular stock you are saying true in a row average c7 by average c65 is about 1.05 in last 252 days so what it tells you here when you run the scan uh, and look at this is that it is telling you this particular stock for 205 days out of 252 days was about its trend intensity uh, of 1.05 but that's a nice information to know but this is not the kind of stocks you want to focus on because what you want to focus on is a stock which is just starting out because as the trend gets older and older it becomes vulnerable to reversal so these are like kind of very mature trends they are trends which have been going up for quite some time and uh, they are many times they are very vulnerable to reversal as the trend gets older and older uh, then it becomes difficult for it to continue uh, it can either go into a sideways pattern or it can reverse and you will see so, some of that uh, happening yesterday on a stock like this which is like say you have a big dro drop highest volume day on round side so you look for a younger trend and in order to do that you sort by this column and look for something which has a younger trend which is just starting out and that's where you likely to find, get into a trend early and that's where if you're looking to hold longer term then you can find uh, candidates which have just started their moves by sorting by this youngness of the trend now obviously this particular youngness of the trend is not going to help you if you're going to do it on a bearish side because it uses a bullish criteria if you're looking for ti 65 on the short side then obviously it is not going to allow you to do that because it will not be meaningful because it will just give you a value, value of zero because the stock doesn't have uh, trend intensity to the positive side so you need to create a, another scan which looks for something which has a negative trend intensity and again if you want to know what this is this is true in a row average c average c 65 is greater less than 0 0.95 in last 252 days so what this tells you is this particular stock whatever this is adpt uh, was down for last 233 days in a row or it was below the trend intensity of 0 0.95 for 
233 days in a row or real good solar is 168 days or opst so these are like in you know, trends which are like persistent down trends for a long period of time but again what we are interested in is something which has just started to break down and that's something which is where you want to see younger trend which are breaking down which just started breaking down especially especially something which has gone down in last 10 15 days and then sets up is what you're looking for so you can sort that particular list by the youngness and look for uh, say something like this now is like a continuation kind of a setup here downtrend so small bearish flag if it breaks down here if it has a 4% breakdown that's a short candidate right so that's how you can find stocks right at the beginning of their up move or down move using trend intensity so these two sets of videos will give you ideas if you're an active trader if you're an active trader that's where this real value of this will be for you is you want enough opportunities on the long or short side because if you can find enough opportunities and if you can uh, swing trade then the, that is what allows you to find multiple opportunities and compound gains and in order to find those kind of stocks which make big moves the two most important thing which you have to look for is something which is breaking out with high volume or breaking down and second which has a trend intensity above 105 or trend intensity below 0.95 and if you can marry those two approaches you'll find lot many opportunities and those lot many opportunities will keep you busy as a trader you will never run out of ideas whether the market is going up or going down because you are covered on both sides